Good day, grade 11. This is Teacher Riza. And this is our lesson 8 for week 4 of quarter 2 in general mathematics. The present value of deferred annuity. And our learning competency for this lesson, the learners are able to calculate the present value of and the period of deferral of a deferred annuity. So in our previous lesson, we defined annuity as a sequence of payments made at an equal or fixed interval or periods of time. And annuity imitate or ordinary annuity is a type of annuity in which the payments are made at the end of each period. So for this lesson, we define deferred annuity as an annuity that does not begin until a given time interval has passed. And an example of this is a credit card company offering its clients to purchase today or buy now, pay later, or start paying monthly with their choice of term after three months. This is payable for six months or 12 months, depends on the offer of the bank. And a real estate Agent is urging a condominium unit buyer to purchase now and start paying after three years when the condominium is ready for occupancy. This is called pre-selling. And another example, a worker who has gained extra income now and wants to save his money so that he can withdraw his money monthly starting on the day of his retirement from work so we defined also period of deferral as the time between the purchase of annuity and the start of the payments for the deferred annuity an example of this is the monthly payment of 5,000 for three years that will start eight months from now so we have here the cash flow since that is monthly for three years so there are 36 period of payment that, that the first payment is a time 8 which is 5,000 pesos and the period of deferral is from 0 to 7 which is equivalent to 7 periods or 7 months or to find for the de de uh, period of deferred or period of deferral we're going to subtract one from 8 which is also a 7 period or 7 months and another example is quarterly payment of 300 for 9 years. That will start one year from now. So we have here the cash flow since that is quarterly. That is four times a year for 9 years. So we have 36 period of payment. And the first payment is at time 4 which is 300 pesos. Because there are 4 quarters in 1 year. And the period of deferral is from 0 to 3, which is equivalent to 3 periods or 3 quarters. And also to find for our deferral, so we can also subtract 1 from 4, so we have 3 periods or 3 quarters. Then another example is semi annual payments of 6,000 for 13 years. That will start 3 years from now. Since that is semi annually, so that means twice a year for 13 years. So from our crash flow, so we have the period of payment is up to 26, that's 13 times 2. And the first payment is at time 6, which is 6,000 pesos. And the period of deferral is from 0 to 5, which is equivalent to 5 periods or 5 semi-annual interval. Or that is 6 minus 1, so we have 5. And to find for the present value of deferred annuity, we're going to use this formula. Word in PV means present value and R means regular payment. And J is the rate per conversion period. How to find again for the value of J that is I raised to M or that is the rate divided by M which is the conversion period. And N is the number of paying periods. And to find for N, we're going to multiply the value of M, which is the conversion period, times T, which is the number of years. And to find for the deferred 
or D, which is the different period, we're going to subtract 1. For example, Hazel availed of a cash loan that gave her an option to pay 10000 monthly for one year. The first payment due after six months. How much is the present value of the loan if the interest rate is 12% converted monthly? So first, we're going to identify the given, which is the regular payment is 10000 and T is equal to one year, and the given rate is 12% or that's equivalent to 0 0.12, and M is equal to 12 because that is monthly. So first, we're going to calculate the value of J, N, and D. Where in, to find the value of J, we're going to divide the rate, which is 0.12 by 12. So that's equal to 0 0.01. And M is equal to M times T. And M is equal to 1. And T is equal to 12. So 1 times 12 is equal to 12. Then, to find for the value of D, so that is 6 minus 1 because the first payment due after 6 months. So, that 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 periods. So, this is the period of D word. So, to find for the present value, we're going to use this formula. Then, substitute the value of the regular payment, which is 10,000, and the value of J, which is 0 0.01, and the value of D, which is 5, and the value of N, which is 12 and 5 plus 12 is equal to 17 so that is and adding 1 plus 0 0.01 is 1.01 raised to negative 17 again 1.01 is equal to 1.01 .01 and raised to negative 1 and 1.01 raised to negative 17 is equal to 0 0.8443 and 1.01 raised to negative 5 equals to 0 0.95146876. Then after that, we're going to subtract to 1. The end that is equal to 0 0.1556622527 and 0 0.4853433124. Then divide that by 0.01. So we have now 15.56225227 and 4.853431124 and multiply that to 10,000 so we have 155,622.51 minus 48,534.31 which is equal to 107,088 pesos and 20 centavos so therefore that is now the present value and next problem a credit card company offers a deferred payment option for the purchase of any appliance rose plans to buy a smart television set with monthly payments of four thousand for two years and the payments will start at the end of three months so how much is the cash price of the tv set if the interest is 10 percent compounded monthly so we have here the cash flow and the given is R is equal to 4,000 which is the regular payment, T is equal to 2, 2 years and I or rate is equal to 10% or the 0 0.10 then M is equal to 12 because that is monthly. And to find for the value of J, we're going to divide 0.10 by 12. So that's 0.00833. Then for the value of D, we have 2 because the payment will start at the end of 3 months. So 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Then N is equal to M times 2. And M, that is 12 months in a year, times 2 years. So that's equal to 24. So what we're going to find is P. So, in our cash flow, we have 26 period of payment because that is 24 plus the deferred period which, period, which is 2. So, we have 26. And the payment start on the 3rd, which is 4,000 up to 26. So, all in all, that is 24 periods because the deferred period is 2. So, using now the formula, Substitute the value of R, which is the regular payment, is 4,000, and the value of J is 0 0.00833, and the value of D is 2, and the value of N is 24. So 1 plus 
0.0833 is equal to 1.0833 and 2 plus 24 is equal to 26 times negative is negative 26 and 1.0833 ne raised to negative 26 is equal to 0 0.8059908 to 28 and 1.0833 raised to negative 2 is equal to 0.9835458785 and subtract that from 1 so we have 0 0.1949217722 and 0 0.1645412115 then divide that by 0 0.00833 so we have 23.2904175431 and 1.975284-6939 then multiply that to 4000 so we have 93,161.67 minus 7,901.14 which is equal to 85,260.53 so this is now the present value and for the third problem we have on his 48th birthday, Mr. Ramos decided to buy a pension plan for himself. These plans will allow him to claim 10,000 quarterly for 5 years, starting 3 months after his 68th birthday. So, what one-time payment should he make on his 48th birthday to pay off his plan if the interest rate is 8% compounded quarterly one time one time payment is the same as the present value okay so we have here the cash flow and the given in the problem is regular payment is 10,000 TS that is for five years and the rate is eight percent or that is 0 0.08 then M is equal to four because that is quarterly and J is 0 0.08 divided by four is equal to 0 0.02 and D is equal to 20 and N is 4 times 5 is equal to 20 so what we're going to find is the present value so the annuity is deferred for 20 years because he will start paying on the 40th birthday up to 60th birthday so, so that is 60 minus 40 so we have 20 years and it will go on for 5 years the first payment is due three months or that is equivalent to one quarter after his 68th birthday or at the end of the 81st birthday conversion period thus there are 80 artificial payment how to find for the number of artificial payment that is d is equal to m times t wherein the conversion period is quarterly or four times 20 years that is from 60 minus 40 so that is 4 times 20 is equal to 80 and for the number of actual payment that is n is equal to m times t since the payment will go on for 5 years so 5 times quarterly so that's 4 times 5 is equal to 20 and to find for the value of j that is the rate which is 0 0.08 divided by 4 is equal to 0 0.02 so if you assume that there are payments in the period of deferral there would be a total of d plus n which is equal to 80 plus 20 is equal to 100 payments so if you notice in our cash flow the period of payment there is 100 okay so this is the cash flow that is from 0 to 100 but the payment will start after one quarter so that is on the 81 payment so which is 10,000 81 period to 100 period of payment so that is 10,000 every period okay so to solve for the present value we're going to use this formula again so substitute the value of the regular payment which is 10,000 in the value of j which is 0 0.02 and the value of D is 20 and the value of N is 80 and 20 plus 80 is equal to 100 times negative so that's negative 100 
and 1.02 raised to negative 100 is equal to 0 0.1380 329672 and 1.02 raised to negative 80 is equal to 0 0.2051097282 then subtract that from 1 so we have 0 0.86196703328 and 0.7948902718 then divide that by 0 0.02 so we have 43.09835164 and 39.7445 then multiply that to 10,000 so we have 430,983.52 minus 39,445.14 wherein the difference is 33,000 538 pesos and 38 centavos so therefore this is now the present value okay so for your activity one you're going to identify the given values of the following in the given situation so this is the first problem wherein you're going to identify the value of r which is the regular payment and t is the number of years i raised to m is the rate then M is the conversion period, and J is the value of rate divided by the conversion period, and D is the period of default, and N which is by multiplying M times T. So the same with problem number two. Identify all the givens from regular payment to N. And for your activity 2, you're going to find the period of deferral in each of the following deferred annuity problem. So this is the problem. Just identify the period of deferral. And this is the second problem. And the third problem. Fourth and fifth problem. So there are five problems that you're going to find the period of, period of deferral. And for your activity 3, you're going to calculate the present value of each problem completely. And so this is the first problem and the second problem. So you're going to find the present value using the formula. But you're going to solve it completely or with complete solution. And for your reflection, you're going to write what you've learned from this lesson or you're going to write how you feel about the activity. And before we end again, let me share this quotation. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Again, this is Teacher Riza always saying, keep safe and have a nice day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.